Hello friends, Tanya here with a video for Trinity Stamps and today I am going to use the pumpkin head um, coordinating dies to create this fun card. I recently got the pumpkin head coordinating dies. They work for the pumpkin head stencil and they are so cute. When I saw these pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern faces, I had to make this card. I'm also using the slimline stitched panels and this supporting scripts stamp set and this stitched mini slimline die set. These narrow, long narrow uh, dies work perfect for your sentiments. There's even a really thin one that will work for the smallest of the sentiments through Trinity stamps. I also got these distress mica stains um, from the Trinity shop. They are at this moment sold out. I don't think that they're getting more, but I believe the holiday mica spray stains are coming. So keep an eye out for those. They are fantastic. I love these. I, in fact, am probably going to get spares because I want to use them on everything. I'm using the, um, is this flickering candle, bubbling cauldron, and jack-o'-lantern. So the yellow, the green, and the orange. And I have this eight and a half by four and a half inch panel here that I am spraying, spritzing all over with these colors. I want to create a colorful background. I'm also going to take the crooked broomstick or the brown of the distress, distress mica stains and oop, I got a big blob on there, but it's not going to matter. And I'm spattering this panel to create this cool glowing colored panel. Now this panel all by itself would make a really pretty card print. However, we're going to do something fun with this. I'm going to take some black cardstock and I'm going to die cut the largest of the slimline stitched panels and I'm going to take all of these jack-o'-lantern faces and I'm going to secure them to this pre or this uh, panel that I've already die cut with that stitched panel die and I'm going to create some peek through elements. This is going to let that beautiful distress mica spray stain uh, colored panel shine through. Look at those. Isn't that adorable? I love it. I, I'm telling you this is so fun and this is actually a pretty quick card. I have been doing some pretty long videos lately but this one's going to be shorter. <laughs> I am going to carefully decide where I want these faces because I don't want to cover too much of them up when I'm putting the sentiment on and I wanted to plan out where my sentiment should go. So I did lay that stamp set down over the paper to guide where I was going to put all of those faces. Now I've die cut that colored, that spray stained panel with the same die and I'm going to just adhere those together just using my Barely Art Precision glue here. You can use whatever you like. I did contemplate adding a little dimension behind this, but I decided against that. It would have been a little too complicated for what I was trying to aim for on this card. And it still looks fantastic. Just gonna quickly get that all adhered. And then I'm going to take a three and a half by eight and a half inch cardstock base um, whoops, nope, first I'm going to do the sentiment. I have a piece of white cardstock here. I have treated it with my anti-static powder tool and I'm going to use some VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp this twice because I probably could have done it once, but I just really wanted to make sure I had a good solid inking. And I have this tub full of clear embossing powders. Now this is a mix of different embossing powders. Um, I some were scented, some were, um, they were just a variety of not my favorite clear embossing inks. And I use those sometimes when I don't really need a really great embossed image. I just wanted to seal in that VersaFine Onyx Black because I didn't want to wait for it to dry. We'll just simply say that. <laughs> I'm using this second to the smallest mini slimline stitch panels. Uh, die to die cut this sentiment. I really do like coordinating banner dies, but this set 
is going to fill that role quite often for me. Just going to use that to die cut my sentiment and there it is. It even matches the stitching on the main panel. Now I'm going to take this piece and now I'm going to glue that to the three and a half by seven or excuse me eight and a half inch slimline card base with some out of some heavy white card uh, excuse me white cardstock using my misty to add a little weight to that and these are glow in the dark clay embellishments there's these are the glowing sky they have a two different sizes of stars and a moon or a crescent moon I'm only going to be using the stars on this particular card but they are so cute I tried to give you a little peek of the glow in the dark quality of those I'm adhering that sentiment right to the front of the card where I had planned it to go. I don't always plan that far ahead, but I did this time. So I'm now I'm going to kind of plot out where these stars are going to go. And then I decided to pull out the Halloween cupcake sprinkles, which have stars and little tiny bats um, and hearts mixed in in purple, black, yellow, and orange. I just wanted one of those bats. So I'm going to adhere that next to the sentiment and then I'm going to adhere these stars scattered all across the card front. I think they really add a little extra punch to this card. And since the um, sentiment is up on a little bit of dimension with a coaster blank behind it, it doesn't add any extra bulk that isn't already on the card and actually kind of levels out the um, height across the whole card front. Now I did save all of those fallout pieces, <clears throat> excuse me, from the faces and decided to add those to the inside of the card. Now I sped this up really fast because I spent a ridiculous amount of time <laughs> adhering these to the inside of my card. It would have been wiser for me to take the die cut images and lay them on the card and put these faces together through the negative spaces in the die cut images. However, this worked too. It just was a little fussy. Um, not in addition to me being kind of clumsy. See, even when I'm speaking, I'm kind of clumsy. <laughs> Sometimes I'm stumbling over what I'm trying to say. I do finally get all of these attached using a variety of my fingers, the reverse tweezers, the fun pickup tool, and that completes the card. I did make this in an A2 size also, and I didn't put any extra embellishments on that one. And on the inside of that card, I did a little stenciling of one of those faces with that coordinating stencil. I hope you enjoyed this card. If you did or this video, please leave me a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and check out the description box for any of the supplies that I use today. Until next time, bye-bye.